Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Your message for today. I know it has been on your table with different languages. Thank you, Lord. Viva Satom. Hallelujah. Wow, I was listening to the to, to the testimony. And I, I, I just is I quickly forget myself. I, I I forgot myself just like that. So in the same experiences you are having in the church, I was having in my office there, watching the whole testimony. Wow. When it is time for testimony, I'm not better than you. In some cases, you are better than me because you're me. I ha ha. Wow. Glory be to God. Wow. I, are you talking of the, the witch doctor, the gentleman that was delivered, the last testimony? And I know your faith is lifted up with what you have received today. Hallelujah. I, after listening to the man, the gentleman that talked last, I quickly, say, I quickly pick the message. Just a few words and advice to you. So I will take it in this way. Because what this man was saying, he said some pastor came to pray with him and uh, he, he pretended as if because the way he, he, has been, he was pushed around, he pretended as if he was delivered. So well, what, what, what shall we say this now? Don't tempt Satan to tempt you. Don't tempt devil to tempt you. Put it that way. Tell your neighbor, don't tempt devil to tempt you. I can't hear you. So don't tempt devil to tempt you. Don't tempt devil to tempt you. Take care. That's it. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at, uh, because uh, the time, look at the time. Wow. We have just few just an hour more but this is three this is your time but not your time this the natural time say three o'clock okay what can we say now i think i need to advise you concerning the mess the testimony you have received very important hallelujah so let's see some of the passage we have several tests several character Several God general in the Bible that support this. Uh, don't uh, don't tempt devil to tempt you. Let's let's quickly look at the book of Job. I think this book of Job. Are you there? Look at the book of Job. Hallelujah. That is Job one. Now there was Job one six. Let's take it from verse six. Now there was a day when the Son of God came to to present himself before the Lord. And Satan also came among them. Take take note of that. They say Satan came among them. Then the Son of God came to present himself. Satan came among them. Hallelujah. Satan came among them. Verse 7. And the Lord said to Satan, from where do you come? That is the question. God himself was asking Satan, from where do you come? How many do you miss up with these people? Mm, wow. Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro on the earth. You see, roaming about, roaming about, from everywhere, he has no, no, no direction, everywhere, wandering, just wandering about. Okay. And from walking back and forth on it, in the same earth, he is wandering. That's it. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant, oh my God, 
So when this man was talking here, I said, oh, my mind just, ah, this is the book of John. If you consider my servant, that is God, it's as in Satan. If you consider my servant, consider what the world consider, what could that mean to you? I mean, look at it, the, the, as it is used here, it is idiom. As it is used here, it's what? It's idiom. That is, if you try to know the meaning, it's too, I mean, simplify, it's, I mean, so now, it's a job. If you consider my servant, Job, that is the name man, Job. There and that there is no one like him on the earth. There is no one like him on where? On earth. Why there is no one like him? Why? Because the Bible, the, the God say here, is blameless and upright. Is what? Is blameless and upright man. One who hears, one who fear God and shun evil. Blameless and upright, one who fear God and shun evil. That has nothing to do with evil, unfaithfulness, disobedience. Verse 9. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? <laughs> do you think he do this for nothing? Job was telling God, nothing come for nothing come by what? You, see? you mean Job is fear you, Job is obeying you for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. You think he's doing all this for nothing? Wow, this is a very I read it again, verse 9. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Hmm. Verse 10. Have you not made a edge? Wow. Around him. Around his household. Around all that he has, he has. On every side. On every side. Hmm. You have blessed the work of his hand. Tell me why he will not fear you. <laughs> you after you have blessed the work of his hand, tell me why he will not obey you. And that is Satan was telling God. You say it's blameless, it's upright. Oh. You mean it's blameless, it's upright for nothing? After you have blessed the work of his hand, his household, tell me why he will not blameless and upright. Mm. Well, because of time, I will, we will not have so much time. So much time now is our challenge. God's time is the best. I think this also will take us to the book of, I mean, first, let's, let's read once and for all because of time. Let's read once and for all because of time. Let's look at the book of First Corinthians. Are you there? So first Corinthians. Hallelujah. First Corinthians ten verse thirteen. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who would not allow you to be war? Mm. Listen to that. We are, we are from Job now, from the first book of Job to that first Corinthians. You can now put them together, you can see they are very, very related. I take it once again from where we are coming from the book of Job. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, will also make the way of escape. Hmm. That you may be able to bear it. 
Wow, from the book of Job. From the book of what? From the book of Job. Hallelujah. So going, we, we have we listened to the testimony. What a wonderful testimony today. What a wonderful thing that have taken all of our time. But we, we believe God will provide a, a time for us. Whatever we need to do, it has been packaged and it will be well delivered. I can hear your amen. amen. Don't tempt devil to war. You know, Job did not. Job did not tempt devil. You know how devil, how he came, Satan came to God. When you look at the, the, the let's take it from the road. The spirit that descended on Jesus was to humble him and at the same time to make him strong. If you presume upon your strength and tempt the devil to tempt you, that is not humility. If I'm talking to you, let you see. If you presume upon your strength and tempt the devil to tempt you, that is not humility. Because you are using that power, that grace as if it's yours. Mm -hmm. Because the power given to us is not for all, it's not to be used at our will. It's not what? It is not to be used at our will, but God's will. You can't just wake up. This is why you cannot just rush to him and say, Man of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. If God leave you to your strength, why praying for the demo possessed? You rather be delivered, not the person you are praying for. We must be careful in entering into temptation. We must be what? In what? I mean, we should be careful not to enter into temptation. We should be careful not to enter into temptation but if God permits it <laughs> take it take it and underline it to your book because it's strange to you now I'm going to use a strange way if God allows it as a trial as a test you must not think it strange and doubt your guide. You must not think think it strange and doubt your your guide.
if God allowed the devil to tempt us, it will only improve us, not to impair us. I take it again. If God allowed the devil to tempt us, it will only improve us, not to uh, impair us. The devil trial and temptation will only make us stronger if God allows it. The devil, trial and temptation will only make us stronger if God allows it. If a man says, if a man claim is a Christian or pastor, leave him because the repercussion is great. If we say, in the name of Jesus be healed and we are not sent by Jesus you will be delivered instead of the one you are praying for If you understand me, let us see your hand. Come on, brother. If I'm not a pastor, or I'm not a Christian, and I know I'm not a Christian, but I profess Christian. Christianity, and I say I'm a Christian, but I confess Christianity, but I'm not. And I, you have the spirit in you. Whatever spirit you have in you, either the spirit of loss, the spirit of killing, the spirit of destruction, and I now stretch my hand to say in the name of Jesus Christ, be delivered. And I'm not a pastor, and I'm not saying by Jesus, I will be delivered instead of you. Mean those spirit in you will come inside me. No spirit that tormenting you will come on me. The affliction. It will not leave you, but the spirit will sit there, but they multiply. Just that name Jesus, I'll take some out of your affliction. Imagine how many people I will be praying for. I will just be taking the affliction. This is repercussion. This is trouble you are seeing today. This is why you see ministry today. Today, there is no fire again. Sit down. Yeah. But there is wet in the ministry, but no fire. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, there is wet. Yeah. No, fire. Yeah. no fire. You see us, we have vehicle, we have this, we have mansion, we have money, very huge account all over the world, but no fire.
and devil is aware of this that is why you see them blow everywhere they know there's no fire that's why you can see here blow bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah, bah. they are swimming they are swimming it is their harvest season tell you is their harvest season because no fire Because we are tempting Satan to tempt us. How do we tempt Satan to tempt us? When we presume upon our strength and tempt Satan to tempt us, Jesus will leave us to our strength. Mind you, as I have said, if God allows it as a trial, if God allows temptation as a trial, test of faith, you must not what? Think it strange and doubt your guys. See what happened to Job. God allowed that temptation to Job. You remember the, Satan came to God and said, hey, This is your, your man there. He said, let me, let me go. Okay, go. He allowed, read it your passage. God allowed, permitted us temptation to do. Go ahead and tempt him. Job did not think it strange and doubted his guide. Remember the wife said to him, here you are, could all this be the reward of your righteousness? Everything is down, your children is dying, this are happened. You heard what Job said to his wife. Remember, the, the same God has been given us saliva. Now, if he now gives us bitter leaf, why are you complaining? The same God Almighty has been giving us salad for a long time. Now it is time for bitter leaf. Why are you complaining? He never saw the idea what happened as a strange thing and doubt his guy. Let's come down. Let's come down because we have a few time we want to attend to other issues. Let's ask ourselves, what is the motive of Satan in, in, in making you making people cry? 
the greatest thing Satan aim in tempting God's children is to overthrow their position. The greatest thing Satan aim at in tempting God's children is to what? Is to what? Overthrow their position as children of God. Look at those things that happen to you when what I'm talking about happen. You know in your private. First, to cut off your dependence on God. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. To cut off what? Your dependence on God. You begin to say, ah, mm, ah, I don't know, I don't know what's happening now. Your dependence on God to cut it off. One. You know, in our generation today, we don't know how much we need God. This, our generation, does not know how much they need God until the situation is critical. Many of us are here today. You can think of situation that brought us together. Until the situation is war. It's war. We don't know how much we need God. If what we are here for is issue you can handle, you will not bother to come here. You say, I can do it. You are forgotten. You need God to smile. You need God to close your eyes and to open your eyes. You need God to dress. You have seen people mere dress up like they, they, they collapse and die. We have read where a colleague just open eyes and close is gone. You need God to sit down. We have seen people mere sitting that is the end of life. And we have seen people just mere standing and he collapse. Tell your neighbor, I, 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 I know how much I need God. I need God to smile, to dance, to look, to look, to sleep, to eat, to say thank you, to stretch my hand, to dress up. I need God. I know how much I need God. Aim of Satan to cut off your wall, your dependence upon God. Two, to cut off your duty to him. You know, you have duty. What the seven commandments Your duty to him. Mm. When it happens, you begin to see God. In, 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 in a bad side. And what are you talking about? Unfaithfulness occupy your heart. Disobedient. You see God in the bad lies. Say, I know. Jesus, no. T. 
actually to cut you off your communion with God. Your what? Your what? And you, you know, <laughs> uh, where I fast and I pray, what else again? What, what do I need to do next? Yes. What do I need to do next? What next again? I have fasted, I have prayed. What else again? Your communion with God. These are the great testing Satan is aiming at. We must be careful in entering into temptation but if God permits it we must not think it strange and doubt our guide this is the, what we are going to talk about next week because of I told you if God permits it we talk about that area what can God permit this but we look at the case of Job and many other God generals in the Bible. If God permits it, we must not think it strange and doubt our world. If you presume upon your own strength, The law will lead you to your own one, own strength. You presume upon your own strength to tempt Satan, to tempt you. And this is challenging we are facing in the church today. And this is one of the challenges, this is one of the problems. The, 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 the problem we are facing now, we stand, when you look at how many times in churches today, the name Jesus is mentioned, compare the name Satan is mentioned, you see Satan's name is mentioned more than the name Jesus. The name Satan is mentioned more than the name Jesus, who is our Savior. The two times Satan, 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 or the time Satan, Satan. So we we'll continue where we stop next week. Hallelujah. Don't what? Don't tempt the devil to what? Again? I can hear you. Yes, don't tempt the devil to tempt you. That will become you. We, we, let us beware of spiritual pride which has been the cause of destruction today. Spiritual, spiritual pride. We should be aware of what? Spiritual pride.
So I, I was listening to one testimony. I want them to replay this testimony so I can talk just a few words. Because I know I will still receive many who may concerning it. What a wonderful concerning the wise men and listen to the testimony and the prophetic word given there. And the question, why did they stop prophesying? That is the question. I know many people will wrestle about. Ah, this, 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 look at this, look at this, look at the way from heaven. Uh, this one can only be from God. A woman that was looking for the fruit of God. He, the doctor said, no way. He has been carried this, he has given up operation. What can I do now to have a baby? But the wise men looking at her and say, look, this is your problem. You are delivered. Go and have your baby walk. Baby, baby girl. When the woman, the do, it, there's no, nothing to show. Azumi is pregnant now. We say maybe doctor report. Must have read baby girl. That is why the wise men know this. But this woman, the doctor said, no way. He cannot have a baby. He has to go through operation. But the wise men delivered them and said, go and have a baby girl. And that very man, and she took him and had a baby girl. This can be only, this can be only God. The question, why did they stop prophesying? <laughs> With that mighty gift, why do they stop war? That is a, that is a question. Because imagine, that's the same gift, that gentleman, God used him. Imagine he's stretching hand, why he's delivering you, talking to you, he started telling you, prophesying to you. Imagine, thousand people go home, receive their vision and prophecy of what to come. So let's play the case so that I talk a little about it. Uh, I, I believe that is what was going on in your mind. Yeah. Raise up your hand if that is it. Ah, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> I thank God I answered this question. I would have received million email. And there are another one that is going on in your mind. The wise men are five, but four are working for the past. <laughs> if that is going on in your mind, let us see your hand. Uh, I thank God. I thank God. They are, the wise men are five. Why is four now? Yes. Two. Look at this prophetic gift. Oh my God. He touched the woman and delivered them and said, You are going to have a baby girl. A baby what? Girl. A baby girl. And that very month, the woman took in and delivered a baby girl. What is that? Is apostolic job, a complete job, healing, deliverance, prophetic, and ways of wisdom. It, there is packed. But why not prophesying again? And what, five wise men. Why now four wise men? <laughs> Okay, let's watch the baby, the, 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 the prophecy. Sir? Where's your wife? There is a certain problem that gives you concern in the house. Yes. The nature of the job you are doing. It's like you are still waiting for breakthrough. Yes. But this breakthrough has not been coming for a long time now. Yes. And that thing has given concern, especially the madam. Yes. She is worried. Yes, madam. And what is going to happen? How are we going to do it? Yes, ma'am. God wants to open your way now. Yes, sir. Because I'm looking at a wonderful breakthrough yes, that is coming your way. Yes, man of God. Okay? Yes, man of God. And two, please... I want you to stop thinking too much, okay? 
Okay. Because this thing has given you sleepless nights. You keep praying, praying, praying. Jesus has answered your prayer. Okay? So just give thanks to God and leave it for God. Amen. Please. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. So this is a baby girl. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is again? What is again? You know what the Bible says. You listen to after praying for the husband, you now come to the wife and touch the wife and say something. This thing is giving you sleepless night. Now he pray for the husband, but when he has not finished delivering that woman, he need to deliver that woman before see what God is looking at. Because if the woman is not delivered, there is no way you could see what God is looking at. He now went back again and told the woman and the man fair. And you can see, because oh, I can see baby girl now. Why this has not been continued? And the woman came out with a baby girl. Where will I start answering the question now? <laughs> Is it number one or number two? Uh, I don't know. Where will I start? Let us start from the, the, this prophetic gift. Um, I will bring out the video. Uh, you know, everything is in record. I, because even right when I was in second primary school, this record has been going on. Because when God showed me what he wanted to use me for, I thought in the way of, I mean, I thought uh, I was going to, I want to go to Nigeria Defense Academy. I attended an interview because I, I see the crown. I see, I see millions of people. And the, the record has been going on to the extent that I met my mom and I asked my mom, what is this? I mean, this is what I'm seeing in visuals of I say, I go, my mommy said, no, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. You want to call me wish? No, I'm not saying wish. I'm only asking, this is what I'm seeing. This is what is happening to me physically. What I'm seeing in the visual is different from what is happening in the physical. Not until God now explain, give me, and let me know that, look, I will allow you, allow all this, I will allow you to pass through all this so that when the time comes, you have enough experience. Because I'm not only going to raise you as an apostle of God, but I want you to raise people too as an apostle. And if you don't have enough, if you don't have PhD in the school of condemnation and PhD in the school of praises, how will you teach people about condemnation and praises? You cannot have just one. So all this you have, I now surrender my the Lord show me. I'm going to you are going to that that was what I'm saying now, that was thirty eight years ago. I was thinking that uh, God said he will raise me, he will use me to raise people like me. I said, ah. then I was just impatient. I look at the water, that is blood of Jesus in those days. I enter here, I say, God, use this water. The work is too much for me. I pray, I say, God said, okay, I'll, the water will, will do what you are doing. But I'm talking of opposed to. After water, the sun, I will bring all those things out for you to see. Say, not only you will become an apostle, but I will use you to raise apostles. I said, ah. so therefore, you, you need a thorough knowledge and experience of this war 
and above all. Well, I said, okay, well, if that's the case, this is why upon what happened to me in the past, people that have lived here, that you would think that I will never trust anyone or believe anyone, but that does not stop me. Because I was working towards the vision and mission God gave me. People say, ah, this man, look, he, he has, why is he allowing people to live with him? Upon what people are doing to him, betray him, and people will live here and betray him, spoil his name, but still, he keep allowing people. No, I was not looking at those things. I was looking at the vision, what God told me that he will use me to do. You know, when Joseph was in the pit, he said to himself, he said, this is not where I belong. <laughs> because he has he have seen where he belonged. He said, no, 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 this pit, I'm not, this is not where I belong. When he was in the prison too, he said to himself that, no, this is not where I belong. That could not, that gave him courage and strength to pass through. Let someone say, peace of heart. I can't understand. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Peace of heart. If there's anything I have, there's something I have which is greater than anything. You may say, there's something I have. So much peace of heart. If I sleep, I close my eyes. I open the door. The peace of heart. Because God has shown me where I'm going. Amen. And what I will pass through. Amen. No, they don't come to me on PP. I know when it's coming, I just look. You know, that is what you are facing now. The challenge you are having now is, you don't know what to happen next. And you keep running hectare, skater. That is why your challenge is now dictating how to pray, what to pray for. Your challenge is dictating how to pray and what to pray for. If you haven't heard it now, you begin to say, God, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Because you think that that headache can kill you. But me, if I have headache, I may not even, I will not even bother to pray for that headache because I know it's not really to go. Because it's not part of the what I'm looking at. No, because I don't want our message, our where to take on our time. Let him go straight. Right from the beginning of this the ministry. When you call the wise men, they will tell you that even before when they were in the camp, God was purifying them and baptized them because I'm not the one. They received in the same way I received. But I'm only being used as a point of contact. And anybody can be used to do that. Huh? Huh? Anybody can be used to do that. Anybody can be you. Just go out and want somebody to, okay, just. The very day they were in the camp and the Lord showed me and I, I called them, I told them that four of you, one of you will drop in the journey. But. What can we do? But it is possible to have battles since the beginning of the journey. From beginning of the journey when they were 
The Lord said, go to the world. I said, this is what I'm hearing from God. Tell them, one of them will drop in the journey. But I told them, you can abat it. Cow. Don't tempt the devil to tempt you. Don't what? If God allows temptation to come, it will not fall you. Rather, it will. Look at what happened to Paul Apostle. The temptation came his way, but God was aware. But not the one God. If not, people like me, I would not be able to rescue you. Because I'm just like you. What you can ask is what I'm asked. I'm not bigger before God than you. Mm. As they are rescued to be great more, I'm also rescued to be great. But the only thing I have above them is experience, my brother. You know what I mean by experience? Experience in the sense that when they move like that, I say, ah, don't move like that, though. I have moved like that before. This is what happened to me. <laughs> when they are running, I say, ah, ah don't run, you. I have run like that, though. this is what happened to me. When they laugh, ah, don't laugh too much in the midst of people. Hey, what the outcome is not good, though. Ah, hey, you are good, you are good. Ah, don't accept you are good, you are good. When people say you are too good, your downfall is coming. These are the experiences I'm loaded with, and God used me to guide them. That is why you still see them here. They are supposed to go into the war. Each person is enough for each continent. Just each person. If anywhere each person is established, that continent will be affected positively. They are enough, but they need work. Enough work. Experience to go on. Because there will be great temptation and the storm and you know what I passed through. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I passed through, you know, you are one of them. You are one of them that say, no, you, you need my head. When you could not get my head, you are here, welcome. <laughs> you are one of them before. Yeah, you are clapping now. Uh, where? You were here when I was in, in they, they say I'm taking drug and I was there for 10 days. You were here. And each step, each step I take, when I, because God permitted it, that is why when I was there, I touched the M of Papier there. When God is aware of your, uh, the temptation that is coming, and God permits it, He wants you to learn whom human beings are and what they can do. You go inside it and you come out of it strong. You know you were here. Is it? Those of you, it's not three or four times I was... They were lying against me, I was in the prison or detention. The same TV doctor, I have the record at home. When they could not know what to do, there's nothing they have not done. In those days, people would just carry a baby, come, a baby. They say, yes, the baby, what's her name? Say, my name is uh, Kike Temitope. Who is your father? Timmy Joshua. (laughs) (laughs) 
Eh? I will look at her and say, eh? So, I bump a kicker. If that one is, at the end of the day, by the time they carry that one, carry it to processor, he say yes, they were asking him to say that. And he, uh, he's very sorry. In another day again, another one will come, maybe with the pregnancy. He say, oh, sir, so, TV doctor is doing all the pregnancy. By the time the doctor will say in the dream, he sleep with me. Tell <laughs> me <laughs> you have the video, you watch the video. Okay, next Sunday I'll play it for you. I'll play it for you. Imagine, come brother, imagine a, a man of God that other man of God could not even know that he's a man of God. I was in that trouble five years ago. Every man of God was lashing me. The whole man of God was saying, no, it's not man of God, it's not man of God. The video is there, I will show you the case. I play it every day. But today, everywhere is silent because what we have said is too much. It's difficult for anyone to say it's a man of God. They will say, Chibi, you are the one who says it's not a man of God. <laughs> because if I too am, am one of the people that say it's not a man of God, it's a devil, it's a criminal, and suddenly the teeth turn around like this, it's better I should silence. If not, the, my, all my members will disappear. If I now come out and say, it's a true man of God, my, my member will say, oh, you are a false pastor. Tell me you told Lord in the church that this man is a devil. Why is it now you are saying he's a man of God? So it's better everywhere to remain silent on the, on the, on the, on the last day. Now, so a man like that that have passed through all this, he should be able to know that, look, before I will step into something, it's something in internal. The, why are we not having branches all over the world? Why? Why not branch everywhere? Why? I will not have what it takes to have branches. We have it. But we are looking at prosperity. The tomorrow. A ministry that will stand forever. Even people like me, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no more. It will, not affect, it will not change the ministry. The ministry will still stand. That is apostolic ministry. Now, this ministry, what is not done well is not done at all. The standard is just when God raised the five wise men, it has been like that. My testimony, I will be asking God, God say, we raise people, and I was glad. But suddenly that very day, God said, tell them, one of them will drop. And I told them, and the paper is in their pocket, every one of them. But God said, all of you, five of you, remember. If temptation is permits, by me, God, God Almighty. You come out of it, what? But if you tempt temptation, the devil, to tempt you, it will lead you to your war, to your own strength. So, this is several weeks. Pray for the four wise men. We are still expecting more wise men, but one has been dropped.
it's not me. I'm only because of Ime Ime. I will have remained silent because it's not me. So I, because our heart is black, if not, you are supposed to pray and ask God, and God will have revealed to you. And I know if you continue to ask God 100 years, you will not hear anything. And you continue to disturb me. You listen to me? If the, what I'm looking at is what you are looking at, and we are truly a Christian, we, I, will, I was, I'm expecting you to praise for the past first week, second week, third week, fourth week. Go in fasting and ask God, what is happening here? Where is this man? And God will have revealed to you. But because you cannot hear anything from God, even if I leave you for 100 years, you continue to disturb me. You, can't, you will not hear anything. Because we are not ready to build our spiritual life. That is why the email did not... I, please, I don't know. I'm, I'm wrestled to, to get more grace from God. So I have... If something I can... I can go into communion with God and... I will do it. This is not the first, this is not the second. We have been battling with our gentleman. It's not the first time. Those of you that are in the church, you will know what happened some time ago when the voice ceased completely. For good two weeks, we are wrestled with the voice, and the voice gone. How many of you had know this? Come on, come, brother. Come, if you're in the church. When the voice, come here. So because I don't want to tell you, because it's not just enough for you to just say, you are in this church. Give it to you. Yes, daddy. Uh -huh. The voice ceased and people was asking. People were asking maybe it's too fast and I'm praying that his voice changed. We don't know. And the second way you could not see him. Yes, daddy. It was the third way. I know for four days I was in communion with God. And the God said, This is the man I'm talking about. He will not be able to continue. But where this is revelation I'm talking about. I say, Brother, you are the one God is talking about. Now you are restored. Another one, I don't know what will happen. So thank you very much. You may be seated. And I, I want to say to you that this is not the ministry where the demon possessed will resist and disgrace our men here and when it's now come to that it may God have, but have leave you to your own strength and we don't want that where you see a demon will now overpower the wise men you should know that uh, it's you you see his own strength so this is a ministry we must listen to spirit suggestion so thank you very much. <laughs> Listen to me once again. Don't misquote me. What I'm saying, because I'm not the one who anointed, I'm being I was anointed just in the same way they were anointed. Because you are disturbing me, we have received thousands of email. That is why I have to come out to tell you. Because I'm not in position to say this, God Himself is supposed to reveal to you. But if God is not revealed to you, the way you are going about it, I don't know what you you may give other name, other other thing entirely. That is why I come out to say, tell you, I the message I gave today is purely about the issue. Don't tempt Satan to tempt you. We, we must be careful in entering into war, into temptation. But if God allows it as a trial, as test of faith, we must not war, think it strange and doubt our guide. So I was preaching this message, but you don't know where I'm going. This is the reason why I preach the message. So. Thank you. I want to say, a, a, at a, that apostle and the men of God, nothing happened to them without God, unless we go too far. 
if you don't listen to God's uh, spirit's suggestion and we try to suggest for our own, do our own, we will enter trouble that even God will not be able to rescue us. But it, when we listen to spirit suggestion, that does not mean, I have said it already, listen it once again, that we must be careful not to, I mean, not to what? Enter what? Not to enter temptation. But if God allows it, that is, if God allows temptation, it means man of God can be tempted. If you quite understand the raise of your hand. If God allows temptation, if God allowed the challenge himself, if God say himself, say, oh yeah, let what, what happened to Job? God allowed that temptation. If God allowed the temptation as what? A trial. Or what? Maybe test of faith. God can allow anything. Can anything. We must not think it. Begin to think that ah, I'm a man of God. Why this thing? Why this? You should know God. He can do any foolish thing. Okay. If it is what God allowed, He will see you through. But if God does not know anything, and it is our own world, our own world, mm, we are out of the grace. So, so that take note of this. Don't give meaning to what I'm saying. That does not mean man of God can be tempted if God allows it. Take note of that. But if God... So thank you. Once again, my prayer every day is to see more wise men and wise women. Even God promised women to be wise. That is um, my prayer, and I used to say it every day. If suddenly the four redu five reduced to four, you should know that hello uh, is something beyond my work. It's beyond my control. How many of you have heard me when I talk of more wise men? Even I say my 58th birthday, the grace, the blessing God will give me is more wise women and wise men. Amen. But today, Instead of more, we are reducing four. That shows that it's beyond my wall. It's beyond my control. Look at the jaw. But I want to say something. Listen once again. When you talk of most gifted among the wise men, is the same gentleman. When we are fasting together, when we are stopping at four, it can go eight. Then some of wise men like Daniel they say, ah, I cannot continue. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, I want to tell you something there. Listen, and the two, the, the most loved one here today, People love this gentleman more than any of wise men. When he's moving, you hear his name. Other, they would, if I, everybody wants him to pray for them. Why other? They don't want, unless he's not there. If he's there, everybody wants to work with him. Very loving. The people love him more than all the five and is the most gifted when it comes to prayer, comes to fasting. Are you talking of humility? Oh my God. Humility is, is, is down here. You can, when you stretch your hand, it will give you a handshake. But other will say, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, <laughs> me too, <laughs> I'm just saying. Pressure and tension is not a problem to him. 
when there is so much war, that does not mean when you greet him, he will not answer. But when there is so much war, you greet other, because they are too busy. <laughs> it's nature. I'm just telling you, how can man of me, TB Joshua, will allow such a person to be out of the... Yeah? This is to tell you it's beyond my... Out of five, if there's anyone I can just say, I call immediately, please, let's go, is the one I will call. On the natural, Mr. T.B. Joshua is so familiar with this man because very human. But the thing is beyond my control. This is several weeks now. So I want to tell you that pray for us, not only him. Even we that are there, we did pray more than him. What do you hear me say? We that are there, so that you, the way you are going about it, you will not pray for us again, you will be praying for him alone. Not that I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm only telling you the truth. Look, we that are there, we need prayer more than him that they are down now. So if you don't pray for us, you want us to join him. <laughs> if you are ready to pray for us, not only him, pray. For, mm -hmm. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, I will say it again. Because I need to clear this. Because I, I enjoy your prayer. I, I, I feel your prayer every day. But the, what is happening now, you may not pray for me again. Because you will be busy with your friend. <laughs> Please, don't reject us. Pray for all of us. But we there, we need more prayer. Please, thank you very much. Now, we are praying that God will raise more wise among women uh, women pray that when god is raising the other wise men it, the gentleman can be one of them yeah. i hope you quite understand what i'm saying when god is raising other wise men and women Pray that the gentleman can be one of the people God is going to raise. That's it. That's the prayer you should offer. Because the gentleman say he will not let God go unless he restore him back. I'm speaking of his behalf. He say he will not let God go unless God will. Me too, I do, I do two prayers. I pray for myself and I pray for him. <laughs> so that's it. I'm praying for others. So please, thank you very much. I, I think the air has been clear. And uh, my people in the country there, please, I will talk to them next week. I don't want to talk now. So uh -huh, coming to prophetic gifts, so after that we do mass prayer. Come, it, come to prophetic gift. We saw the wise men. The prophetic gift gave, gave, gave him. Are you talking of when he traveled to Washington State? How many of all watched the video? You saw the prophecy given. The prophetic gift flowing, flowing, flowing. So we Yes, it's, it's a blessing of God that uh, all of them, when they started, it was everything, everything. The Lord gave and they were flowing, but sometimes when our, the, our blessing is beginning to be bigger than our character, we have problem.
That is the problem you two are facing today. Your blessing is bigger than your wall. And the character is supposed to be one. So we beg God. We don't want to lose any one of them. We don't want to lose. God say, okay. So, so that the character is what we are fighting for. So that to maintain what they have. Character. So thank you. So the day you see them with this gift of prophet, prophetic gift, you will be marvel that we will we'll, we begin to operate in the same dimension. We don't want to lose any more, anyone. This is what, what we saw right from the beginning is what happened now. And they were, they, all of them were fighting to, to maintain. That is why you don't see them out there. After the service, you can't see them on the outside. You think that maybe they travel. No, they are inside. After the service, you see them inside the prayer room. They are praying. Let's pray. Let's pray. They don't go out. They're just trying to fight and get... I mean, they want... They know the food of Holy Spirit is character. You can't see them outside. They are not common. They are not common. You can only see them coming out to pray. After the prayer, you will not see them in the town or anywhere. It is that thing we are... So, can you see now? So, because is this where I mean so please next week I will put more light but the most important is they want to have said this so the gift of prophetic gift which you, you have seen just an atom of it in the life of Harry so it is character now they are building mightily to maintain the God's grace in their life. Mm. And the character is all about time and preparation. It is not just a day job. There are many things God do for us and there are many other things we have to do for ourselves. So many, you think that when that you are endowed with the grace and you are baptized with the Holy Ghost, on your own, you believe that uh, God will be doing everything. Karata will just come like that. Uh, yes. Yeah, holy Karata will just, every holy Karata will come, will come, will come. It will come. But you will be the center of attack to Satan. You know how many people God used them to deliver? Do you think these people are resting? Eh? The, the devil. You mean devil? The father of devil is rest. The mother of devil is rest. When we are delivering them, restoring them, claim them to God. Claim by them. Do you know how many, many, many people being delivered? This young man. You should expect what, imagine what will be happen in the, in the spirit. Even you that just pray for your family, you know what happened to you. So thank you very much. Hallelujah. Rise up, rise up. So we continue next week. If there's any unanswered question, I will put more light next Sunday. So thank you. I'm talking about it's not 10 days, 10 years, 10 years. It has been long. Look at the moment. It's, it's, it's old. And it's not supposed to look old like that. It's suffering. suffering and pain the only thing i have not suffered is death and so i will be i will meet them next sunday they will come out here to give thanks to god so thank you so next sunday why can you see if you are not attend to issue like this can you see eh? it's very very because we cannot allow this kind of issue till next Sunday. The issue must be settled. Because last Sunday here, I met the man. The man was just sitting down. I met him. I said, look, there's a woman that is suffering. You people call many names. It's not a wish. You forgive him, forgive her, and he will forgive you. 
He said it's her mom. And my mom was living in the village, the bus quarter, suffering, you know, where they normally keep wish. And they abandoned the lapidated building. And they built a big house, mansion. For the past 10 years, my mom don't know where they are living. And nobody want to support them because they say the son says a witch. They run for Momo. Momo say, you know. So thank you, thank you. Thank you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wave your hand, wave your hand, say thank you, Lord. And I know each, 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 each step actually help your faith to grow. With what we have seen now, reconciliation, a lot of things will be going through you. And I know many people here that have the similar cases. As I'm talking now, similar cases you have. You have heard, you have hear me today that if anybody is accused of wish or wizard, that particular person, don't disconnect yourself from him. It is not the, your enemy. The person is not your enemy. It is the being inside him that they are accusing. So don't disconnect yourself. Continue the relationship. And the, the one inside of him is the one they call wish. It's not him. So if you disconnect yourself from the, such a person, you are fighting the wrong battle. And no one fight a wrong battle and win. Tell your neighbor, no one fight a wrong battle and win. I can hear you. I can hear you. That is why you have not been winning your battle. There are many battles you have been fighting for long, but you never win. Because you are fighting a wrong battle. If we are armed for battle, we will fight the right battle. Tell your neighbor, if we are armed, if we are armed for battle, we fight the right battle. Because we are not armed for battle, that's why we fight on battle. If we are, yes, if we are armed for battle, we fight the right battle. But if you are not armed for battle, you continue to fight the wrong battle. Because the, 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 the endowment you receive to fight the battle will tell you, this is your enemy. This is your enemy. It will show you the right person to fight. Because that gift, grace you have, will, will check you and control you. Be under the, that grace, check and control that grace. And you will not go wrong. He will be telling you this, no, this is not the right battle. This is the wrong battle. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hand, wave your hand once again. Mm.